Okay, so I tried the Hyperscape capture demos and they are insane. Like it's still in early access, but you can go through some of the sample scenes now. There's actually this warning that says don't sit on things. Actually low key more nervous about accidentally knocking over some of the artwork in the demo than I was like walking into my own desk. I don't know why, but I really like this orange chair, but it's crazy. You can plainly read the writing on the wall here and like you can see the photos too that are inside of these captures and they do have it set through, so you can only teleport from place to place right now, which is a little disappointing given that it's an artificial guardrail, but you should be able to go anywhere where in the actual model. Where it gets really crazy is that I can confirm that all the demos were actually captured using a Quest headset, which is wild because they look so good. And I was like, there's there's no way. There's absolutely no way. But I've actually started to see other people post video recordings of their spaces online and look how good they look too. I mean, I'm honestly, I'm shocked. Even the featureless white walls look clean, which is really difficult to do. Uh, Meta has not enabled link sharing still. So otherwise I would go check them out myself, but it's pretty insane what you can get from a Quest headset. This is the promise of radiance field methods like Gauss and splatting, and these are just the static ones. Wait until people start putting out dynamic 3D. Follow me if you're interested in life like 3D. This is literally all I post about, and I've been following the radiance field world for nearly four years now, and so we're finally starting to see them out into the real world.